while the storm keeps piling onto you. When it rains, it pours, and the storm you are facing seems like it will never end. The storm of financial problems, family arguments, prison, addiction, marital issues, and more just keeps piling onto you. You have no answers, and it appears that you will drown in it. In the Bible, Jesus was able to calm a heavy thunderstorm, even though the others that were with him in their boat were worried. He said to them, Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. May the Holy Spirit bless you all. A very good morning. It's a pleasure to be back with you with your program, New Chance. We are in this special week for the salvation of the family where every single day we are interceding on behalf of our family members. Here in our UCKG Help Center, we have here on the altar the board of the family where every day we are praying. We are praying, we are making prayers of supplication to the living God in order for him to stretch out his hands and to touch our family. And I would like to talk to you who are watching me, perhaps for the first time, and you have a family problem. Maybe you are a mother that you are struggle with the problems of your child. Maybe you are fighting, you are a lady fighting for your marriage, or a husband fighting for your marriage. You are a father fighting for your child. You have a family problem, a problem that uh, you can't solve it alone. You know, the Lord Jesus invites us to come to him as we are. I'm going to show you the story of today of this young lady that she fought for her family through chains of prayers, vows, and, uh, and prayers, of course, and she saw the transformation in her house. See what God is doing. You know that with faith everything is possible. What you need to do is to believe. So watch the testimony of this young lady and we'll be back with you straight after. I was invited to the VYG um, and she started attending, she started coming and she was enjoying it. So um, that's when she invited me to come because I could see, oh yeah, she was enjoying herself. That's when I started to come as well. I started to attend the church. And when we wanted my mother to come to the church, it was a bit more difficult because she was a bit resistant in coming. She just didn't understand like, oh, why do you need to be in the church every day? Because we had gone to like a previous church before, but um, it wasn't like this sort of thing. So she, she just didn't understand like, why are we always here? What are we doing here? Like, what is it that we're going to eventually so she wanted to see okay like what what are my children going to sort of thing so um then she started to come we did um different purposes the campaign um to get her to come and so yeah now she's here eventually um but in the meantime um, my sister actually ended up um drawing back in her faith so um she went back to the world and she you, was you went to the world for a while yes for sure <laughs> Um, so for me, that was um, a difficult moment because I was thinking, I'm here, I'm fighting. I've started to grow my relationship. She's the one, um, she's the one who invited me to the church. So it was difficult for me to see her, um, like sort of abandoning everything. And so I was doing different purposes as well. I was coming to like 7 a.m. impossible cases. Um, I remember there was a purpose of uh, my family under the shelter of the Most High. So I prayed specifically for her to return to the church. Um, and then it, was a, it took a, a little while, but um, she started to come back and she's here with us today. And then we started to pray for my dad to come to the church. He would come sometimes, like, oh, if we would ask him, then he would come or like, we would always come in. But now um, he's here and he comes every week as well. So, Amen. Um, how, are th how are things um, between all of you at home? Uh, oh, yeah, our family is blessed because it's, it's nice to know that, you know, we're all in the same faith, that we all understand the same things. We're all here together. Of course, I'm not going to say that our family is perfect, but you can see, clearly see the hand of God working within our family. You can clearly see the presence of God, the protection of God over this family. So. Amen. After my first failed marriage, I really started to suffer with depression. I then started looking for love in the wrong places. I started dating other people here and abroad, and I still felt so alone, but I was really desperate to find someone to fill that gap. I then married again, and that relationship failed as well, but this time I had a child as well. This is probably one of the worst moments of my life. Failed relationships and alone with a child. 
I felt desperate, I felt lonely, I felt empty, I felt rejected, I felt there was nothing else for me to live for. During my search for happiness, I turned to drugs, partying, meeting different people, and nothing would make me happy, nothing would fulfill me, nothing would allow me to have peace. I got to a point that I'd had enough of everything, had enough of my life. I just wanted happiness, I just wanted to be fulfilled. So I decided to accept an invitation from a friend and I started to learn that there was help. And that help was through my faith, through searching God, through His Word, and really putting into practice the things that I learned. I understood firstly that I didn't have to suffer and that actually I wasn't alone. I started to do chains of prayers. I started to, to make specific prayers for myself, to look after myself, to go deep and not just look at the circumstances around me. Through those prayers, things started to change inside of me. The way that I saw myself, the way that I saw my life, to know that actually I could be happy and I didn't need to depend on anyone else. Today the way I see myself is completely different. I'm fulfilled, I'm a happy person, I'm assertive, I'm able to make decisions, I'm able to move forward, I have a career, I have family. Everything that I thought was impossible for my life, today is possible and there are no limits. You see, my dear friend, that uh, God makes miracles. Faith works in the lives of those who believe. That's why stop being desperate and stand up from wherever you are and take an action. Because sometimes you have been crying and you have been searching or you are desperate and you don't know what to do with your family member. Or maybe you are there on the other side and you say like this, I need help for myself. Maybe you, you, you want to be a better father, a better mother, a better husband, better wife. You feel yourself frustrated because you were not able to be the best for your family member. An example, come also to fight because here at the Universal Church this week, until Sunday, we start last week, uh, the 6th until the 13th, that will be this coming Sunday, we are in the week for the family salvation, and you are our guest to join us. Here in Stockholm, we are here every single day. Actually, tomorrow, Friday, is the day that we pray against people who suffer with spiritual problems. So if you are a victim of a spiritual problem, or your family member is a victim of a spiritual problem, you are our guest to join us. Here in Stockholm, tomorrow Friday, 7 p.m., I'll be here waiting for you. At the Birge Asgotten, 106, very close to the Techniska Tunobana. You are our guest to join us at 7 p.m. Also, we have a morning service at 10 o'clock, and if you speak Portuguese, we have a service at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. For more information, you can visit our website, UCKG. .se. Also, we are in Gothenburg in, at the Ringingarten 13 in Fort 7, where we are there every Saturday. And come to join us, come to fight for your family, come to fight for your house, because I'm sure, even if the situation, even if the, if the scenario right now is not good, even if human speaking is impossible, even if someone told you that is impossible, I would tell you, my dear friend, that for God everything is possible. You know, one day God also changed my family. I'm not just here talking by, by, by talking. I'm not just here saying words. You know, one day also God changed my family because I came from a broken family and today my family is restored. And the same thing God wants to do in your life. If you want more information also, if you'd like to talk to someone, to book a time, you can call us, you can text us. Right now, maybe you cannot wait for the service. You cannot wait for the, for the next service of today, Thursday or tomorrow. But you want to talk to someone right now, you can call us. Our number is 08612-1255. We have also a WhatsApp number below your screen. 
you can be in contact with us and we are sure that you will overcome. You will overcome. Stop crying and take an action because God is with you. Have a blessed week. Have a blessed Thursday. May God bless you. And until next time. This program is brought to you by UCKG.